getting a little late start on her today. My neighbor put crushed asphalt down and it was real hot yesterday, unseasonably hot, full sun, and there's no shade up yet because there's no, no leaves on the trees. So the sun was beating on that asphalt and the wind was 20 mile per hour, pretty constant out of that direction, the Southwest, which is rare, but so it's basically a perfect storm and the asphalt kind of doesn't agree with me real well. I'm hoping it cures with the warm weather um, pretty quickly. It's crushed, so it's older asphalt, and she laid it in November. So hopefully it's gonna cure now that it's not under two feet of snow. But anyway, the show must go on. Today I'm gonna shape some beds and get getting. I hope the grass is dead. My gut's telling me I probably need about two more weeks with the tarp, but I don't have them. Worst case scenario, I might just be dealing with a lot of grass this year and I'll just tarp it real heavy again in the fall. That mower works better than I thought it would when I got it in the fall. That's really the first time I've used it for anything substantial. Now I'm gonna measure out my greenhouse um, so I know exactly where I want it and get to making the beds. Got my first bed done. It's actually, the soil's pretty loose underneath the top grass layer. I'm fortunate to have really good soil. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna build a mold to make the aisles. Usually my aisles I'm gonna do about a foot, but in the greenhouse, because it's, I'm doing it 12 foot wide, so I'm gonna do three beds of three foot instead of two and a half foot. And then I'm gonna do my aisles one and a half foot. So just so it'll be even. So I'm gonna make some molds, one and a half foot, and then fill those with wood chips for my aisles.
I have encountered a very large rock. So what I'm gonna do is actually make what was gonna be my right aisle into my left aisle and just move the greenhouse over where it's gonna be about four foot. It won't add any work for me because um, I have to shape this bed anyway. I was just gonna be doing it on the other side now. The only thing um, that could probably be a little problematic is the part I'm gonna be making into a bed now wasn't tarped over winter or fall or spring. So um, the grass is alive. But I don't think that's gonna be a huge problem because even the tart part, I'm gonna to have to figure out a way to kill the grass further. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna transplant into the soil, but then I'm gonna put paper over it and then put compost over that. So the compost will help to loosen the soil and soften it up, and the paper should, in theory, get rid of the rest of the grass. I moved that over a few feet, squared it up. So now back to the regularly scheduled program. I've done what I can do for now. I need to decide if I'm gonna put paper down and then compost and poke holes in the paper to plant my seedlings, or if I'm gonna plant my seedlings, wait a few weeks for, it to tall, for them to grow tall enough to paper around them and then put compost down. I'll probably put compost down first because I don't know exactly when it's gonna be warm enough to transplant my seedlings. Should be soon, but I guess it depends on when I get my load of compost. So thanks for hanging out, appreciate it. Take it easy.